All right, you guys, and here we are with my weekly food haul. So I went to Kroger. I saved $45.60 with coupons and a discount. My goal was to spend less than $150. My total was $134.05. I also saved $16 in gas with fuel points because if you shopped at Kroger today, which was a Friday, you got four times the points. I also had a coupon that was $10 off of $75 purchase. Um, that was a digital coupon. The discounts are not digital. I get a 10% discount off of any Kroger brand stuff. Um, Y'all can probably figure out why, but anyway. And then I have uh, I have a ton of digital coupons. I shop sales um, and that's what I do. I also, um, I have a part-time job and my paycheck goes to a separate account that is accessible to me and my husband and it pays for our groceries. It helps us budget that way. That's the only reason we've done that. So I'm gonna go over what I've got and what I plan to cook with and I will try to do the prices, but sometimes it takes me forever to look on my receipt. So we'll just start right here. I got a roast for $16.27. I plan to make a crock pot roast, put it in the oven just because um, I've been wanting to roast forever and meat is really expensive. So I'm going to put it in with ranch dressing or the ranch seasoning packets and then carrots and potatoes. And then over here, I got some, these were $1.69 a piece and then I got 16 cents off of that. So however much that is, because I'm not going to lie, I can't do math in my head like that. But I got two of them, um, and that's gonna go with the roast for Sunday dinner. I always like to do some kind of dinner on Sunday, even though actually I work this Sunday, but it'll be real easy to throw in the crock pot before I go to work. Okay, so these were $3.99 a piece. I always try to stock up on these so my kids can have them to eat real quick. They were $3.99 a piece. I may have already said that, I'm not sure. Y'all know, y'all know, this is a staple, kick a lime. And they did have the hint of guacamole, which these are amazing too. They're a little spicy, so if you're not into spice, don't worry about it. I wouldn't I wouldn't try, but the hint of lime aren't, they just have a ton of flavor. Y'all, look, this is a realistic mess in my house. I couldn't fake it if I wanted to. My son was gonna take the trash out and he had an Erica moment and just left it there and now he's out in the yard playing basketball. But I tell you what, they're being so quiet, I'm not gonna complain. They, we don't normally drink 1% milk, but it was between this and whole milk. And I'm just, uh, honestly, I don't want my kids to get used to drinking whole milk again. So we normally drink 2%, but I got this. It was on sale, I think for like $2.79. So I probably paid about $2.50 for it after my discount. Look at me doing math in my head. These were $5.99. So they ended up being about $5.50 for me. Um, I got these to go with the roast i also got them to go my husband loves skillet potatoes my kids love skillet potatoes i can give or take with potatoes i don't really care for them like i'll eat a loaded baked potato but to be honest i'll eat a loaded baked potato because i just like an excuse to eat cheese bacon and sour cream so okay so if you guys don't know how kroger does their dates so this has at least one more day um, on the day it actually expires, all their food goes off the shelf, so it's not expired. Um, so it's usually got about a day as far as being sellable. But um, they are really, really good. I'm very surprised and very pleased to tell you they're wonderful to donate stuff to um, homeless shelters and stuff like that to cook. So the food's actually technically still good from what I've learned. Um, and in our house, because I know a lot of people don't like to buy reduced stuff. I, you guys, I am not too good. As long as it's something I know I can freeze or it's gonna get eaten. These will be eaten in at least a day or two. My kids love celery with peanut butter. So this was 92 cents plus I got an additional 10% off. So this, these ended up being like 85 cents, 80 something cents. I don't know, I can't remember. I don't know if it's 10% off this or 10% off the original price, I'm not sure. But um, anyway, so I was just talking about these. I don't mind at all. I, there's really not too many things I won't buy reduced unless it's something I know we're just not going to eat. Um, these were on sale. They weren't marked down, but they were on sale. So they were a little bit more expensive than the normal two seventeen that I paid for them. But I only got one because I think they were like three for 11. And I know that's a little bit pricey for a salad, but sometimes y'all, it's like with chopped onions. I will buy chopped onions and I know I am getting like 
my butt handed to me in the price, but I hate cutting onions. I hate putting together a salad. I will pay for a pre-mixed salad. It is worth not having to do it. Okay, I got these because they were marked down. And when my husband can cook a steak, oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, he can cook steak. And we like the really, really thin ones. So this will be good. I'll have him cook these tomorrow evening because he's off. Oh, and I'm off too. Um, Kroger, I don't know if this is true everywhere, but here where I live in Southern West Virginia, Kroger is the best place to buy chicken. Um, boneless, skinless chicken breast, $2.49 a pound. The only time I've ever seen it cheaper was at Kroger when it was on sale for $1.99 a pound. So for, for me personally, so I'm not saying it is the best price, just what I found in my experience. Um, so y'all don't underestimate your Kroger. Sometimes they're a lot more expensive, but I'm starting to learn too after shopping at Kroger for so long. Um, Walmart's quality of certain things is just not good. Okay, I didn't mean to buy four, but this is the only one I saw and I'm not quite sure um, how much this was. I think they're normally like 10, 10 for 10, so a dollar a can. And so this might be like 3.79 plus I get, you know, 10% off. I plan to use the corn for my chili. Um, I use it in all sorts of stuff. But anyway, y'all, I'm sorry about, well, I'm not even going to apologize because it's just how life is around here. My dogs are barking. I got this for my daughter. She likes to have salad. And if she can hear me, I was going to get her her normal iceberg, but they were completely out. So it was either the romaine lettuce or none at all. And I know she will be perfectly fine with this. Um, but she, yeah, she likes to make salads for her lunch. Uh, Michael wanted peaches, sliced peaches. Sometimes this type of fruit does better, especially if it's not in season. I do get the no sugar added. I don't get sugar free because I don't really like, I don't like to give my kids low fat or sugar free stuff because I'm always under the impression that's terrible for them. Uh, now you guys, I don't practice what I preach as far as myself goes. I will eat sugar free and all that. That's terrible. So I'm trying, I should just like not eat it at all. But anyway, we're not talking about my eating habits. Okay, and um, those were $1.29 a piece. Uh, that was before my discount. I can't remember how much they would be. So I guess they'd be like $1.10 after my discount. Um, I think these were $1.29 a piece maybe. I use these for cracked chicken, um, which I've shown you guys before. Michael wanted pears. He loves pears. These were $3.99. Um, that was the sale price. And then, like I said, I got another 39 cents off. These are 45 cents a piece after my discount. These are my, I love these. These are my favorite. Um, I'm making chili this week. So um, that's why I got the chili hot beans, the dice. We like the dice with jalapeno tomatoes, the or generic Rotel. These were, these were all 99 cents a piece or a dollar a piece, I think. And then the chili hot beans, we, again, we like the hot. It's not too hot though, y'all. Like I don't think it's spicy at all. Okay, so this was $11, but I got $3 off if I bought, and I had a digital coupon, which is available to everyone or that has the app with for the Velveeta cheese. Um, if you bought them together, my husband makes this dip. Haley, what's that dip called that your dad makes? Um, we just call it dippy dip. So, um, would you let her out? Um, anyway, y'all could hear that. It's my daughter calls it dippy dip. She will eat it without chips if she can get away with it. Um, I, I, I can give or take it, but anyway, he uses this. So it was not a wasted deal or anything. And um, so that ended up, I think this was $9. So this ended up being $8. The bread was on sale for $1.79 each plus 10% off. The carrots were 10 for 10 and then I got 10 cents off. The carrots are gonna go with the roast and the potatoes. Um, so that's what those were for. Um, the ketchup was $3.79 with 37 cents off. Um, the prices I'm telling you guys are before my discount. I'm not going to figure it out. I know it's just 10% and I should be able to easily do that, but i um, just been one of those days. These were $2.29 a piece. Um, my kids love applesauce, so we got the strawberry, which I like that the best, and then just plain old apple, unsweetened apple. Joe grabbed these and wanted to try them. I figured why not? You know what? If it's I really, I kind of give my kids free range when it comes to fruit and healthy stuff. Like if they want to try something, I do not care to spend the extra money on that. So if they feel like it's a treat and it's healthy, then I'm all for it. I mean, within reason. Um, my kids wanted to try dragon fruit though one time and I swear it was like 11 bucks for a small thing. And I was like, we just didn't, it was not in the budget that day. But um, for the most part, like I don't mind. 
Um, again, I got these. These are really good. We only like the sweet and spicy, though. Um, my husband and I like these quite a bit. The price of this went up real quick. Um, my kids love this unicorn one, so I got two of these. I think these were $2.29, I believe. Okay, so I think that was all for that. Um, I am going to show you something I do. I know this is normally a little bit of a longer haul. Um, so, like I said, this was considered essential. For those of you that already know, I'm sorry to be a broken record. Um, it's not essential, but it's food that we eat in the house. And y'all, I think you're going to be seeing me clean that in the later video. But yeah, it's. I would say it's been a busy day, but it's been a lazy day. I was off today and I, I sat on my butt the large majority of the morning. So this stuff right here was paid for with our main bank account. Um, again, my husband and I both have access to it, but this was stuff that we really didn't necessarily need. My kids wanted these or needed these. They needed new ones, but theirs were okay. My husband likes these Pro Max bars, so I got him several of those. And of course, me and the kids all got candy bars when I got a Red Bull. Um, and this was like $20. So I ended up getting 60 cents off the gallon of gas because today was, if I didn't say already at the beginning, it was four times the fuel points. Kroger does a thing where if you buy, you know, so many items, you get so many points off the gallon of gas at Kroger. So when I figured it out, my expedition, I think holds 26 gallons, 27 gallons. I don't remember exactly what it was. I will save $16 in gas the next time I go to fill up there. So I figured it out today then I see I saved $45 here and then $16 there. So that's what, $61? Yeah, 45 plus 16 is 61, right y'all? Oh my gosh, I hope so because I know I'm going to put this on here and if I don't, y'all can laugh at me and please pick on me because I'm the one that's responsible for my children's education. Um, but I tell you what, those days, well, that's like the first thing to get is my basic math skills. So anyway, this is my food haul. This is a lot more in depth than I normally do. My food hauls are normally only like three or four minutes long, but I guess I just, I guess my Red Bull's kicking in me and um, that's what I decided to do today. I'm gonna use the cracked chicken. I will use this whole thing. We are a family of six. Um, so the chicken will go in the crock pot for one meal. Most of the meat that you all have seen in here will be used for one meal. I forgot to tell you guys that this ground beef will be used for meatloaf. And I have a few things from Walmart that I'm gonna pick up this evening, which I think is gonna be right after this. Okay, y'all, okay, here we are with my Walmart haul. I had to go get my prescription. So I've been trying to make my Walmart trips just to like about once a month, cause I can't spend, it seems like less than $200 when I go there. Most of the time it's stuff I need, or at least I think I need. Um, so anyway, we'll go over real quickly what it is. I know ramen's bad, you guys. <laughs> Uh, but we, we still, we eat it now and then. I got the shrimp for my son. And like I said, this will last us for probably longer than a month. I don't know. My kids like it too. Uh, Haley and Mason like the hot and spicy chicken. My favorite is the lime chili with shrimp. Um, they were 42 cents each. See, so I got 12 of these, 12 of these, and a 12 pack of that. I don't know how much that was. Um, that was two eighty four dollars for that whole box right there. Um, so Jeremy and I, this is what we do on a date night. The first time we haven't had a kids in a while, we went out to Mexican. It was really good. And then we went to Walmart. So, um, this is what we got for our little treat to eat. I've never seen these, but they reminded me of the Ferrero Rochers like this. And look, that's white chocolate. Oh my gosh. I love white chocolate and I love hazelnut. It's amazing. These are some of my favorite Oreos. Jeremy got this. He needed Q-tips. Um, he also got a pair of work pants because they have to start wearing black pants. Um, Y'all know I had to get this. It was $8. It's the big one for my clothes. I have decided out of the products that I've tried for my bathroom and my shower, scrubbing bubbles is my favorite. So I got one of those. Oh my gosh, y'all. These things right here. I love them. They're the head things like you put on your scalp and you just push down. I've had the metal ones. I've had them all. I just, I love them. Um, Haley, no, this is Michael's body wash. They like the suave. He likes citrus stuff. Haley likes kind of apple cinnamon or apple smells. This was apple pomegranate. I think these were $3 a piece. Um, I got this for the kids' stockings to split up because they always love trying the different flavored 
um, well, different flavor, any type of candy, you know, sometimes. And then they all, all of my kids, this is their favorite candy. So I got them each one of these for their stockings. Stockings are my favorite part because that's when I get to buy goofy gifts that are individualized for the kids. And it's like stuff that you see all year, like the little toilet candies and all that. You're like, I'm not paying five bucks for that, but that's funny. And that's what, you know, I love doing that for the stockings. Okay. Haley's trying to find a new face wash. She can't quite find one that she likes. So I got the generic Cetaphil. Um, I thought that would be a good shot. She's tried Noxzema. She didn't like it. We haven't tried Neutrogena, so that's probably our next one. She's tried Noxzema, Clean and Clear, and um, St. Ives Apricot Scrub, which was my favorite and my son Mason's. But Haley wanted, it wasn't working for her, so we thought we'd try this. Um, I got her some shaving gel. Oh, this was $4. This was 2 Jeremy got this for his beard. I don't know how much this was. Um... I use this. Haley really likes this. She got this. She's used it before too. So it's the oil. It's the Equate Oil of Olay brand. I, you know, I don't think you can go wrong with Oil of Olay. And obviously I have no problem with generic brands if I like it. Walmart does really well on beauty products, I think. And they do really well on like this stuff. Their food? No. Some of their food stuff, I'm just not a fan of. Um, but they have such good prices on just regular brands. I think that's probably, you know, so I got um, Joe when he gets a cold or whatnot this time of year. We like Mucinex. That's what we use for ourselves with the adults. And I find it works best for him. So I got him the Walmart brand. Nighttime, daytime. Actually, that's nighttime and that's daytime. Which I the point. Um, we also like Alka-Seltzer cold relief. That's what we use. The adults um, and well, the kids now can, the older kids can use it. So we got the Equate brand. I don't know how much that was. Did I go over these? Okay, these, I, when I was little or younger, I used to hate getting these kind of gift sets. Now I love it. Um, and this wasn't even a gift. Michael needed body wash and he asked if he could try the Fuji Old Spice. So I, I get my kids separate bathroom stuff. Um, even though they all share a bathroom, they use each other's crap all the time. So I, I don't mind to give them to get them their own I think they should have their own bathroom stuff when it comes to hygiene and that stuff that's you know I don't make them share um so anyway Michael wanted this and it was eight dollars by itself this whole thing was $9.99 like this alone was eight dollars by itself well I mean it says you save 25 dollars um and then it has this spray so I just went ahead and got this for him it's not a gift or anything it's just because he was out of this stuff and it was a much better deal Mason wanted to try the Pantene, or I guess he's used it before, and they had this deal, and I think it was 11, which you guys, it is so funny, he said, um, because we, I'm such, like, I, I don't know if it's frugal or cheap, sometimes I think there's a really fine line, and I tend to teeter-totter on it, but he asked if he could have, um, if Pantene was too expensive, and I was like, well, yeah, it's a pretty expensive brand, but, you know, and then after I started looking at it, I was like, Pantene is not an expensive brand, um, we're just used to buying, <laughs> I myself am used to buying just super, super low end stuff, I guess, which some of the low end stuff works really well. I like Swab's products. Um, but you know what, my kids, they all have different hair types and it doesn't work with anything. So anyway, I, it was fine. I could get that for him. So that worked. Um, what else did we get? Okay. So this was $3. This is our favorite barbecue sauce. Um, but we only, I really only use it now in meatloaf. So this is what I use in my meatloaf. I'll also use Sweet Baby Ray's and a little bit of ketchup, but I use mainly this. It, it does have some spice to it, but even Joe likes it, which he's getting to where he likes spicy stuff. Okay, and then I got two bags of the Multimeal cereal, um, Reese Puffs. Well, it's generic Reese Puffs and generic just all berries for the Captain Crunch. They were $5 a piece. These, this brand cracks me up because they had another bag that was like, I think it was Fruity Pebbles or something. Cocoa Pebbles for $9. It was the same brand. It was the same, you know, um, 32 ounces. So I don't, I, I don't understand the, the prices. But anyway, so this was my Walmart haul. Scooch out. Y'all see that? I did clean my kitchen up a little bit, y'all. From, obviously this is several hours later from where you guys saw me earlier doing my Kroger haul. But this is all the same day. But this is, what, about $150. 
at Walmart looks like. All right, so that's it. Oh, and the pants were $22. Right, if I didn't say the price on that. I don't quite remember the prices on everything, but y'all get it. All right. I hope everyone is having an absolutely wonderful beginning of December and this holiday season. I'm a little under the weather, so that is why my voice sounds like I'm trying to channel some Kathleen Turner. So I thought I would wrap some gifts for y'all. I like watching people wrap gifts. I don't know if that's a thing on YouTube or not, but that's what we're going to do here. So maybe give y'all some wrapping motivation or y'all can, I don't know if that sounded the right way. Um, I suck at wrapping absolutely suck at it sometimes I don't mind doing it um, I did mind doing it this evening but my kids were all gone for the weekend so I thought I would turn on some uh, cheesy crappy vampire shows and rap while I was doing it so I was watching the originals here I have downgraded from the outlander to the originals I've watched all of the vampire diaries but um, it was finally time to watch that anyway on to what I'm doing. So this wrapping paper I bought at Sam's Club. I got two of them because they're reversal. So it's like you've got, you know, two rolls in one. Um, there You don't see the other one just quite yet because it's on the floor. But I tell you what, I think it was only like five or six dollars a roll and it has lasted me at least three Christmases. The one I had before lasted me, I, oh my goodness y'all, I really don't think I'm exaggerating when I say about five or six Christmases the wrapping paper lasted me. So I like to think that most of the time I don't like to waste paper or cardboard or anything like that. But y'all when it comes to Christmas I love to have gifts wrapped. I don't like to do um, bags. I know they're easy and I have been known to do them for like a birthday party or something like that or when we're in a real big hurry but when it comes to Christmas there's just something so fun about ripping the paper off you know the gift and I know it's just for like a brief three seconds that anyone even pays attention to the wrapping which is why I don't really care too much about mine but I do like to wrap all of our gifts. Um, there are a couple that you know you just can't wrap and that's fine but for the most part that's what I'll do. So I'm not really going to go over what I got everyone just because I don't know it's not really I don't know it doesn't seem like anything that would be that interesting. Everyone here in my house is so different and I don't know some of the gifts just they weren't any great deals they were just very individualized. I don't do Black Friday shopping. Um, it didn't seem like the last couple of years anyway that there were any big sales that were worth even attempting in any way. So well, it wouldn't have mattered I wouldn't have gone. I think I've been twice in 20 years. Um, funny story, the first time I went was with my sister when I was pregnant with my oldest son, Atticus. So, oh my gosh, y'all, that was 20 years ago. She got us kicked out of Walmart. I was like eight and a half months pregnant. Um, and this lady like blocked my way with her buggy and would not let me through. And my sister was just like an itty bitty little thing. And oh my goodness, y'all, it was, it was anyway, she was trying to start a redneck brawl right there in the middle of Walmart. So they asked us to make our purchases and leave. But you know what? What holiday isn't complete without a little bit of drama in some way, shape, or form? So what is y'all's favorite materialistic part of Christmas? That sounded incredibly snotty. I did not mean it that way at all, but like this specific, like the planning and all that. But I mean, like, do you like to do baking? Do you like decorating? Do you like buying gifts? Do you like wrapping gifts? My personal favorite, um, I, I think I mentioned it earlier, I love stockings. Stockings are my favorite. I love getting the goofy little silly stuff for the kids because I really get to take time and think about each of them. And, things little little tidbit things that I know they love and things that make me think about them it's just you know it's my way of showing my Christmas spirit to them I guess but I normally like to shop before Thanksgiving I try to do about 85% of my shopping because I don't enjoy stressing out over it I guess it's first world problems y'all but like I like to enjoy the holiday season we do a lot of stuff we go and look at Christmas lights and get hot cocoa and then we always go and pick out a new piece for our Christmas town. I just like it to be, you know, calm as it could be for me. And I know, like, if I get the gifts out of the way, then I'm not, you know, worrying about it as much. And this year, I guess we've got a Christmas pageant or a Christmas 
uh, a recital my son's in, and then he's got a birthday party too. So we have a very, very busy holiday this year. We do have a budget for each child for Christmas. Uh, we also have Joe has a birthday coming up here in a couple days. So this is this is where I struggle. Like I always try to be, you know, we always try to stay within budget. But then like I went to go clean Joe's room and I really, I don't know. I think it's just something I'm going to have to work through until he gets older and it's just out of the toy stage. Like I feel bad because I know that having all those toys and opening them up for your birthday and Christmas is like, you know, half the fun, but most of it ends up donated or broken or, you know, so I really struggle with that. And it's, you know, I went in there to declutter and get rid of stuff so he would have room for his new stuff. Again, first world problems, but you know, that that is what it is. My older kids, I don't have that issue with. They're very easy to buy for. Um, most of the bigger stuff they all already have. So financially, it's usually not a problem either to stay within budget. But this video is going to end abruptly because I ran out of storage on the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys goodbye here. If this is the type of video you like and you would love to see more, just let me know. I've got a ton more stuff to wrap. So I would not mind throwing a you know camera in front of it. If not, then that's fine too. But I hope wherever y'all are at, you are having a blessed one. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. It means the world to me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.